Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Rachel Klein and I will be your presenter uh, here for the next 20 minutes. Today we're going to be talking about creating a picture directory. So um, there's a couple templates in there that you can use uh, that you will automatically have with your install of church windows. Um, so we can use those templates or if you have a directory layout that you already really like and you just want to add the option of a photo to that, I'm going to show you how to do both of those scenarios today. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing I want to point out to you is anytime you're running a directory, there are several fields that are really important and need to be filled in. Okay, that first thing, I'm going to bring this lady back, that first thing that you're going to have to make sure is filled in is this checkbox here. Include on directory. It's a simple checkbox. If you want someone to show up on a directory, whether it's a picture directory or just a regular old directory, this box has to be checked or they will not show. Okay. Another really important field is called the directory report order field. This field is required to be filled in on every single person you have in your database. Okay, so even if it's someone who's not going to show up in your directory, you still need to have the directory report order filled in. That way the software knows who's who within the family. Okay, so every household needs to have one primary. So if it's a household of one, that person is obviously the primary. If it's a family of five, you need to choose one adult to be the primary. Okay, secondary is going to be their spouse or partner, and then as many kids as they have, you'll reuse the number three. If you find you have a couple that has two different last names, and you want to be able to see them up in the B's for Brown and the S's for Smith, for example, you would have someone still be the primary, but then their spouse or partner would be a four. And then individual separately, this would be used if you have an adult child in the family or maybe an elderly parent came back to live with them. They could have a five, so they'd still be in this family, but they would be listed separately when you run the directory. Okay, so make, make sure you have include on directory and directory report order filled in for everybody. Okay, so let's go look at our reporting options here, our templates we have available. So I'm going to go up to reports and export up at the top, reports and labels, and then I'm going to go to reports directory export. So in here, the step one, this is the criteria or who you want to see on the report itself. Okay. If you don't change anything here, it's going to include members and visitors that have that checkbox checked to be included on the directory. Now, you can add more criteria if you want to. You can say, I only want people who have a status code of active. You could say, I only want people within a particular age range. Um, again, that's all customizable. We have a bunch of webinars on building criteria out on our website. So we're not going to dive too deep into that today. But you can simply leave nothing on this screen, the criteria as is, and it'll automatically just pull those people set to be included. Something you always want to check, no matter what report you're running, is the sort tab. You want to make sure that the sort is set to the order you want. So this is the order those people are going to print out on your report. I get a couple calls a week from people saying, my report is printing in this weird order and I can't figure out what it is. Well, they probably don't have their sort order field set up the way they want. So I'm going to go down to name and I'm going to choose name, last, first, alphabetical. So for my directory, most of the time when running directories, you're going to want to go with an alphabetical sort. Okay. Now I'm going to hit next. And then step two is going to load and I'll be able to choose my directory layout that I want. So here on step two, I'm going to go with directory. And then as I hit the down arrow here, there are several templates already set up, but if you scroll down towards the bottom, you're going to see there is a horizontal picture directory, a horizontal picture directory with cell and email. There's a simple picture directory and then a simple uh, picture directory with cell and email. Okay. I am going to go back real quick actually 
and put in a little piece of criteria here because I just have sample data and not everyone has a photo. So I'm going to tell the software I only want people who actually have a family photo. It'll make the report a little neater when I show it to you guys. So has a family photo. I only want people who have photos right now. Okay. Okay, so these are my families who just have photos for now in my sample database. So I want to show you first this uh, simple picture directory just so you guys can get an idea of what that picture template looks like. Hit print. And here is our simple picture directory, okay? It's very basic. If they have a photo, it'll be here, last name, primary, secondary names. If they have kids, it would be listed here. Here's their primary phone and their address. Okay, very basic. Again, this is just a template. You can come in and you can customize this however you wish. These are just some simple reports to help get you started with the layout. Another option in here is the horizontal picture directory. I'm going to choose that one and hit print as well. So this information is going to go horizontally across the page. Little different of a lay, little different bit of a layout, but still showing the same information. So you can kind of pick which one you like of these and then you can customize from there. Okay. Now let me show you this one that I really like, this simple picture directory with cell and email. Most people that I talk to these days are wanting to include cell phones and emails on the directory. You don't have to, but it's, a, again, another template that's available for you. If you go with this one, you do have a little bit of customizing that you're going to have to do to make sure your cell phone prints in there properly. And that's all this message is telling us. Template contains labels for cell phone. Please edit the report and drag the membership field beside those labels and select your cell phone field. So let's do that next. I'm going to hit edit. And that's going to take me right into my report designer. So as you can see, here is my picture. This field, you can make it larger or smaller depending on how large you would like the photo to be. The software is then going to stretch it to fit to that size of your photo box, okay? Now, if you look over here on the right, you can see it says cell, cell, email, email. Now, the email fields are already set up in here for you, but the cell phone fields are not. That's what that message was telling us we need to do. So I'm going to come over here and grab this membership field, drag it over. I'm going to drop it. And as soon as I drop that membership field, it wants me to tell the software what information needs to print in that membership field. So I need to scroll down here to my personal information fields, and I need to select my cell phone field. I'm going to say OK. So here's my cell phone field. So this field's going to print Bob's cell, and then this field prints what the cell phone actually is. And then I need to repeat this one more time for the second cell phone line for my spouse or partner. Cell phone's already selected. Say OK. And now I have that second cell phone field in there. All right. Now, anytime you bring a membership field over, it's always going to default to the selected individual. So that's your primary person in the family. This second line here is going to be for the spouse or partner. So I need to change that. So by simply clicking the field, it's going to select it. And then in this right-facing arrow is my label tasks. In here, I can change what family member the cell phone is printing for. So I'm going to choose spouse partner of individual. Okay. I need to do the same thing over here. Verify family member as spouse partner so it knows to print Sally's name instead of Bob's. And then down here, I have the option to omit the field. So if Sally doesn't have a cell phone, I don't want it to say Sally's cell phone and then have nothing printed after. So I'm going to tell it I want to omit that field if Sally doesn't have a cell phone. So omit if selected field is empty. I'm going to cell phone for spouse partner. Okay. 
This field, again, default is selected individual, so I don't have to change the family member there. But over here on my personalized label, I have to fill that omit in. So I'm going to choose omit if selected field is empty, cell phone for selected individual. Okay. And once you set this up once, it's going, it's going to be saved. So you don't have to come in here and do this again. So I'm going to come up here and do save as. I'm going to get rid of the word template. Let's just put today's date in here so I know when I did this. Sample picture directory with cell and email. Here's today's date. I'm going to say OK. So now when I come in here in the future, right here in this Dropbox, I am going to have the name of that report that I made. Okay, so I'm going to hit print. And now my report is going to include cell phones and emails if they have them. All right. And of course, you can go back into that report designer and you can add as many fields as you need if you want to put birthdays in there or status codes or maybe, um, I don't know, you'd like to, to track what their membership status is. Whatever it might be, you can really come in here and do some customizing just like you would for a regular directory. Okay. Now, let's talk about the other option we discussed. Let's talk about if you have a directory that you currently really like, but you want to add the photo to that directory. So I'm going to do that with just one of our templates, but it could be one of your customized ones if you really like it. I'm going to go with just the two-column classic directory. Let me print it out so you get an idea of what it looks like. So there's not very many people, but you would have another row over here as well. It's a columnar report. But let's say I want to slip people's photos right in here between each listing. To do that, I'm going to come back in here and hit the edit button, get back into my report designer. And right here where my detail section ends, this whole area here, you can see the header is called my detail. This is where I get most of my information for what my report is going to look like. I need to make this space a little bit larger so I can put my photo in here. So to do that, I'm going to click on my children report because that's my next section. And if I hover over this line, it's going to allow me to click and hold and make space for my photo. Okay. So this is where I'm going to place that family picture. Over here on the right, I'm going to grab a membership field again, click and hold. I'm going to drag and drop it right below my alternate phone. And again, that pick a membership field pops up. Under family, I'm going down to family picture. I'm going to say OK. Again, you can adjust this size. This looks a little small to me. So I'm going to drag it out and make that photo a bit larger. You could decide to center the photo if you wanted. I personally like it over here on the left best, so I'm going to leave it there. Okay. I'm going to come up here, do a save as, and I'm going to call this two column classic directory or whatever you had it named. And then I'm going to write with Say OK. Close out, and now in my Dropbox, you can see I have my two-column classic directory with picture. It'll always be saved in here, and if I print it, I'm then going to get the same layout I had, except it's going to insert the family's photo. And that's it, guys. That is how easy it is to take a template and customize it or take a directory that you already have set up and adding a photo to it.